Welcome back. We're here at Colby Sawyer College, and joining me now is Dr. Susan Reeves. She's the head of the Department of Nursing here. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Tell us a little bit about your background. Well, I'm a nurse, and I trained at Mary Hitchcock School of Nursing mm -hmm. back when the, back when it was called Mary Hitchcock. Back when it was Mary <laughs> Hitchcock in Hanover, mm -hmm. and I graduated in the last class of nurses oh. at the school, and then I came to Colby Sawyer to earn my bachelor's degree. Mm -hmm. So did, you're an alumni of here. I, I'm an alum of Colby Sawyer and did my master's at UNH and my doctorate at UVM in nursing. Wow, an all New England? All New England. Institutions, I think that's really wonderful, yeah. So now how long have you been here um, as the director? I'm in my eighth year here directing the Colby Sawyer Nursing Program. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. When I was researching online, you've got a really nice collaboration with Dartmouth, Dartmouth Hitchcock for your students. Talk a little bit about that. Well, um, actually that has the same historical roots almost that I do. Uh, Colby Sawyer, um, when Mary Hitchcock School of Nursing was closing, mm -hmm. um, met with the officials of Mary Hitchcock and said, as your school closes, why don't we open at Colby Sawyer to really have a collegiate-based four-year nursing program, which was mm -hmm. the way that nursing education was moving. And so really, Colby Sawyer opened the year after Mary Hitchcock closed in 1981. Wow. So, yes. I didn't realize yeah. that. Okay, so that was probably nice. I bet a lot of those students were able just to move into this program. Um, several of us did, and mm -hmm. several, several of us did it right away. Mm -hmm. So uh, others have come over the years, and I think this spring will celebrate the 30th anniversary of the first nursing graduation at Colby Sawyer. Wonderful, and that is one of the bigger majors here, am I right? It is, mm -hmm. it is. I know it's very well known. And where do your students getting their, some of their practical experience mm -hmm. in the program? Well, we're really fortunate that that partnership began back in 1981. Um, our students received most of their clinical education at Dartmouth Hitchcock Medical Center, mm -hmm. which is wonderful. Mm -hmm. All of the clinical specialties that they need to train in are available to us there. Yes. But we also use a lot of the local community agencies, uh, New London Hospital certainly, mm -hmm. but some of the um, assisted living facilities in the area and um, you know, in, as seniors, the students really have their choice of where they'd like to go for their final practicum experience within a one hour radius of Colby mm -hmm. Sawyer. I know, we're so lucky. We do have a lot of health care right we here. Do. We think we're, we're kind of, you know, in the sticks a little, but we're so blessed to have so much great health care right here. It's a great training ground for your students. Well, and when we're talking to prospective students who are thinking about nursing at Colby Sawyer, mm -hmm. um, that's really one of the things that we are very fortunate to say mm -hmm. is, you may be coming to a small liberal arts college in the middle of the woods, yep. but we have a world-class medical center where our students sure. can train. So yeah, it's pretty special. That's super. You've got a new program, RN to BS. Explain that. The RN to BS program is for nurses who were educated in programs like mine, mm -hmm. diploma programs, or associate degree nursing programs, okay. and really wish to uh, further their nursing education. Okay. So we, this fall, opened our online uh, bachelor's degree completion program for nurses. Wonderful. So that's great for nurses that are out working and maybe can't get to a class every that's day. Right. They can do it online. How long is that degree? It, uh, there are five nursing courses that are part of that degree, but again, since Colby Sawyer is a liberal education institution, maybe so the students need to take some of their liberal education required courses, such mm -hmm. as an art or a literature or a history. So everything's okay. available to them online. Wow. Um, and it really depends on what they come to us with for credits. Yes. That will determine okay. how long it takes to and complete. And there's probably some pacing from the student themselves. Absolutely. You pointed out they usually work full time. Absolutely. And so one course is a, a significant load. Right. Usually. That's super. Well, wonderful things are going on here at the college, and Colby Sawyer continues to grow. It's such an important part of our community here. I, I don't think you find many schools that have such the town and gown relationship that Colby Sawyer has with our area, opening up the art center like this, mm -hmm. and now having a, that wonderful online, and having your students working out in our healthcare fields. Mm -hmm. It's just a wonderful way. Yeah, we feel really um, lucky to be where we are. Absolutely. Very good. Well, continued success, and thanks for your time. Thank you. Take care. Check out more videos from the Kearsarge Chronicle here. And don't forget to click subscribe to keep up with everything going on in the Kearsarge Lake Sunapee region.